हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेपोर्ट जैक्स आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एनोड जेटपैक कंपोनेंट सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज लाइव डेटा इन एंड्रॉयड जेटपैक कंपोनेंट्स सो लाइव डेटा इज वेरी अमेजिंग थिंग इन एंड्रॉयड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर इट हाउ इट वर्क सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ लाइव डेटा एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो और वी कैन से इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी विल आल्सो सी हाउ टू यूज लाइव डेटा विद डेटा बाइंडिंग and then we will also see what is two way data binding so this is just a introductory video and in this video we are going to implement a live data using a simple application so don't further delay now let's start the video and see what is live data in android and if you don't subscribe our channel then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification so now let's start so for this first of all for understanding live what is live data so i have open my chrome browser and i type here what is live data in android to showing you what is the google saying so live data is just a observer data holder class <clears throat> so what is it mean so let us suppose you have a variable and then you want to set the value of that variable on a text view or an anything wherever you want so don't go on the definition just try to understand what i am saying so you have a variable and you want to set that value on your text view okay so now let us suppose that well variable is updated after any fetching the data from api or any external source that variable is get updated so now what you have to do you have to set again new value on again on text view so this is just a not a good approach so live data say just make that variable live data so whenever that well variable get updated i automatically update the whole ui where that variable is used so hope you understand how this thing is going to work live data say just make that variable is live data and wherever you are going to use that variable it automatically going to update so hope you understand how this thing is going to work but for understanding with more clearly we will going to see with an example so first of all i want to say one thing live data is of two types one is mutable live data and one is simple live data so what is mutable live data and one is simple live data so in some cases we have a variable and i want to observe that variable but i don't want to make any change in that variable so on that time i can say this is just a live data but on some times i want to observe that variable and also i want to make some changes according to condition and on that time i can say this is mutable live data so in this video we are going to use mutable live data and live data also so you will going to understand how these things going to work so for this let's open our android studio and click on file then new then you click on new project empty activity click on next and now you have to type give any project name so i is type here live data tutorial 1 and click on finish so it will going to create our project so first of all for saving our time and also saving for your your time i am going to use the same ui which i use in my previous one projects so first of all let's wait for gradle building it may take some time to building so now the gradle build success so i open my previous one project and from here i simply copy this three things i am going to use these three things so i copy this let i will explain you how this thing is going to work so first of all delete this text view and instead of this constraint layout i have to type here relative layout this is fine and now paste this variables here so you can see it it contain a edit text and it contain a button and it contain a text view so whatever the user enter here and i then i will going to add this and then i will show the that result on our text view so this variable is going to become the live data variable so we don't need to write any code to set value on this variable after adding we are going to see we are going to observe this using live data so you will going to see how to use this so this is just a edit text which contain a hint and the id name of this get number edit text and this is a button simple button you can see and this is just a text view and the id of this text view is result tv so first of all this is unnecessary code i can type here margin 5 db it is fine so now for implementing the live data first of all we have to add a dependency so open build dot gradle module app and here we have to add a dependency for live data and also we are going to use view model in this so for this we also have to add a dependency so you can download dependency or you can see the dependency from official website or android and you can directly copy paste this dependency so i simply copy this and open this and simply paste the dependency here and click on sync now now i am going to use inside this data binding also so i have i am implementing the data binding here so build features and inside this i can type here data binding and 
type it true so if you don't know what is data mining then i already uploaded a lots of video what is data mining and how data mining is work so you can check that videos and now we have to change convert this layout to our data mining layout so convert this so you can see now it is fine so now first of all we are going to use view model inside this project so let's create a view model class so right click here then new and you can directly implement the live data or you can implement the live data using view model so it is better approach to follow the best practices so it is i am going to create view model so that's why so i type here main activity view model so this is done now for using the view model we have to extend view model here and this is done now i have to take a variable here which i am going to use inside my main activity so that variable is and i want to observe the value of that variable so that's why i am going to declare that variable as a live data so i have to type here var then i have to type here total i am going to give the this variable name total and then i have to type here mutable and then you have to mention the type of the variable it is whether it is a array it is a string or it is, it can be anything but for this project i am going to use as a int this is fine now take two braces here so you can see now this variable is declared here successfully and the type of the variable is mutable live data integer type so now i have to create a function here function set total so it will going to give the value of my current total let us suppose first enter user enter 2 then i have to add 2 then after this user enter 4 then i have to set the result 2 plus 4 6 then if user add 6 then say 2 4 plus 4 plus 6 something like that so for this i have to all so i have to add the values which I enter by the user so i have to type here and i have to update them total variable so i have to type here total and then for using the live data we have to use this total dot value otherwise you can't directly assign the values inside this so you have to use this total dot value then inside this what i am want to use i want to add the number or we can say add the previous total with by the new number which is entered by the user so, so first so first of all i have to take the input from user so i simply mention here input type because it will be going to take some argument and the type of argument is integer so inside this i can type here total dot and then what i want to add total dot value this is the null safety and i want to plus what i want to plus input which is the enter by the user so this is just a simple function to add a number and this is just a variable total and now by default what i want to store inside this total so by default it is going to contain zero so that's why you have to use here init and inside this you can type a total equal zero so we, you can see it is showing error because i already tell you you can't directly assign the values inside live data using this you have to type a total dot value equal zero so this is done now let's come into the main activity to better understanding of the code how the code is going to work so so first of all we have to declare a variables for binding and for view models here so type simply type here private let in and where and when you type here binding it automatically going suggestion activity main binding and then we have also a view model view model and main activity view model then first of all we have to remove this line and because we are going to use data binding so binding equal data binding util dot first of all we have to import this alt insert and now we have to type a set content view this r dot layout dot activity main this is fine now we have to implement also view model here so view model equal view model provider and then we have to type here inside this we can we have to type here this and then what we want to use main activity view model colon colon class dot java so this is done now we can use the view model function here so if you don't know what is view model and how it is working so you can check the view model video in this series so now i want to first of all let us suppose user add click on add button so binding dot add button dot set on click listener so on click listener so if user click on this button then first of all i have to call the function view model dot set total and inside this i have to pass a input which is entered by the user so from where i am going to get input from my edit text so i can type here binding dot and get number edit text and then we have to get the text then we have to convert that text into the string then we have to pass integer because that function is going to take integer so this is done now you can see i am passing the number which is entered by the user and then this function is going to add that number into zero so by default total contains zero and then user enter let us suppose five so then total contain will be five so after then user again enter 10 then by this time total contain 10 and 5 so total the result will be 15 
so hope you understand how this function is going to work but you can see i am not updating my text view so let us suppose if i am clicking on binding dot add button then i can i can simply type here binding dot and result text view and then i have to get the new result from my view model because but i am i not create any function to get the latest total value from this in this program so how we can get going to get the value of total so you can see the total the type of the total is mutable live data so i can automatically observe this so how we can going to observe this so for this you have to simply type here so first of all that variable is present inside this view model so view model dot total this is the variable name then you have to type here observe inside this you have to type here context then comma and then press control plus space so it will going to show this function so press enter so you can see this is a this, this variable is type of int and we can observe this variable now so inside this i can type here binding dot result tv dot text and from where i am going to get this int it dot to string so this is done now you can see i simply write the code i just want to set the total on our result tv so you can see i am not updating this result tv again and again when i am calling this add button so it will going to update automatically update our ui you can see i just call this result tv dot text only once and then after this i am simply observing this so if any change is going to done inside this total variable then it will automatically going to update our ui and you can see i am not calling this here because as you know in previous approach if i want to do this kind of work then first of all i have to click on add button then i have to update the ui here but you can see now this total is live data and i can observe it from anywhere and we have don't need to worry to set it again and again so hope you understand how this thing is going to work so now let's see the working of this or we can say how this project is going to work so for this i have to run this project one thing i want to say before running so you can see this is the mutable live data so after running the project i will also show you what is live data and how to use live data instead of mutable live data so i press on run button and gradle start building so now the gradle will successful application installed successfully so let's add any number so if i add a 55 here you can see now i get the new result and if i add this number now this number so you can see i am getting the result so you can see i don't write any code to update my ui inside our add button click on listener so because that variable is getting the value or we can say that element is getting the value from our total variable which is the type of the live data variable so it automatically observing this this and automatically setting the new result so hope you understand how live data work in android and now let's see what is this is just a mutable live data and now you can see this is the where total so for i don't i can't make this private but let us suppose if i make it private then i can't access this from here so you can see i can't make it access this variable from here so now what we can do but let us suppose if i remove this private then i can then i can access this but this is not a good approach and if i want to use variables then i have to encapsulate it so no one can use that variable so for this i i have to make this private so this is the good approach to make it, make it private now the thing is how we can access this variable so for this i have to create a function here and that function is the type of the simple live data so no one can make change anyone can observe that but no one can make change because that will that function will be type of the live data not a mutable live data so for this you have to simply type here val and this is the variable total data and then the type of this live data and this is integer now by working of this function i want to i want to get the total value of the total variable by using this function so i can simply type here get and inside this you have to type here get equal and what i want to get total that's it now you can see now you can access this total data because this is just a type of live data so no one can edit this variable from our main activity and we can also access this total so instead of by v model dot total i have to type here total data this one so you can see now it, this function program is also going to work fine so let's run this and check it again whether it is working or not so program will successful so let's add any number so if i add two then again two so you can see it is working fine so hope you understand what is live data what is mutable live data and this is the end of our this tutorial if you have any question you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the video if you have any question you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment thank you see you soon in next amazing video of live data